four on the clock. From deep three-point range. But they'll get another Are chance. you? Oh, my God. Wow. Here's Gay. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Oh, man. And the muscle of Gay is insane. He just gets some hard shots to fall despite the obvious contact. And with Walton, you hear players talk about the leeway that he allows them. And that extra bit of trust uh, Walton gives goes a long way. It's, it's why so many rookies have been able to flourish under him. Young players develop when you let them learn on the fly. And Walton has done a good job of creating that environment. Yep. I go with this, man. All right. Okay. What's good, man? What's good, man? Ha ha. Ha ha. Lego. Alright, man, we got this, man. Alright, we got this, man. Hey. You know, we got this, man. We got this. Which 2K Compete event pits you and your squad against NBA players in a castle? Is it? It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. You're watching 2K Sports, but you know that already. Tonight, it'll be the San Antonio Spurs up against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Taking a look at the Lakers, they were undefeated against this squad last season, going 3-0. We'll see if they can continue that dominance. And the front lines for both teams tonight, powerful, explosive. Shaq, what's the key these days to building a great front court? Well, the more versatile, the better. Uh, you know, but it's more about skill and brute strength. You know I'm about skill and brute strength. I was the most skillful and brutally strong guy ever to play the game. It's right, you are brutal. <laughs> what's so funny that you know front guy front court guys need to change ends that's what's funny to me Shaq nothing else I just tell you right now nothing else is funny to me you want me to show you how strong I am I'll flip this table over right now I believe you could <laughs> I believe you could what you looking at Ernie not much <laughs> oh <laughs> all right it's on it's on I see Ernie and here's no Kevin fear, Harlan Ernie. here's Kevin Harlan I'll see you in the locker room Ernie <laughs> What you looking at? Not much. Ha The bomb. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, AI. Uh, good luck out there.
Welcome everyone to the sold out Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California. It's the home of the Lakers, where we're broadcasting live today for 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And the Lakers with some changes. AI is checked in for JaVale McGee. Ingram comes in for Harris. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Ball. The Spurs also with the sub. White's checked in. On the floor for San Antonio. Gay and Aldridge are up front. Young is out there with White. And it's DeRozan in at the three slot. Chris, you had a lengthy NBA career. From what you observed, talk about the differences and how various coaches Come on. practices and, uh, and try to teach. You just want to keep guys motivated. You want guys to listen and then execute. And whatever you can do to get their ear, gain their trust, and then get them to go out there and execute. So if you're on a veteran team, uh, you may have a smaller practice, but with more intensity, meaning maybe you only practice an hour of live work going back and forth and scrimmaging, whereas if you're a young Come team, on. you might be able to expect right. two hours of scrimmaging every Why day. Do the That's players true. understand the culture? Do they understand the tenets of the offense and the defense? And usually coaches coach by that need and necessity oh, oh, wow. as opposed to just yeah. having one structure and so back uh, in back Washington we had wow. three a days oh, during training camp fault, as opposed man. to Sacramento later in my career uh, it would be one practice because uh, we're all old we need to make sure that we get the most <laughs> intensity out of this practice and then save our legs for the game inside here's LeBron pass to Kuzma Shot clock at six. Here's Ingram and White with the block. <laughs> Let's it fly from 18. Again, the Spurs good for two. That's their third straight make off an assist. Lakers trail by seven. Wow. Ingram left side. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Oh, yeah, look, and now you can see how Ingram has developed Tyler. in his short right, time in the NBA. Right, Got a little bit stronger, attacking the basket. He's the former number two pick, and he's gaining steam with confidence. And maybe one day he can be an elite scorer. He's starting to develop a little bit of a killer instinct when he has the ball. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for the Lakers. Contavious Caldwell Pope comes in for LeBron. And really, Pirtle is a very forceful player. When he's near the rim, the D better watch out for the slam. Here's Caldwell Pope. Drops it in from 11 feet. And with Ingram, he now wants the ball and wants to attack defenders each time down the floor. Yeah, Kevin, and that doesn't just mean he's doing it with scoring. He's become a great drive and kick playmaker as well. Now, for me, the next step for him is to emerge as a vocal leader. Uh, something that the L.A. office is hoping man. he can become. And it's Rondo good, with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing here good. by eight. Now, here's A.I. Tight defense on him. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. I can't make it. The Lakers with LeBron wasted no time trying to surround him with free agent signings, it. Greg, to help round out the supporting cast. Names came in rapid succession oh. after LeBron committed. <laughs> yeah. Caldwell Pope, Rondo, Stevenson all joined in short order. We'll see how far this team goes, but you cannot deny how interesting things have gotten with this roster. And Forbes kicks to DeRozan. From down in the low post, it goes. DeRozan's got six. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second chance points. Stop really it! What are you doing? That's what the big fella's there for. Pass to Bertens. There's the dish to White. Passes it to DeRozan. From the high post, another one falls for San Antonio. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. To the inside and the dunk by Chandler. And when you're open, Rondo finds you. Always has his head on a swivel. And that Unleashed Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. 
cover Havoc, giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Wow. Wow, what a sensational quarter from him. And as long as they have this lead, I keep going to him again and again and again and again. To the middle. Here's AI. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And White kicks to Pirtle. 121 left in the first quarter. That one good for two. 12 points for him. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Ingram against DeRozan. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. See, Web usually goal. rookies take more threes as they grow oh, in the I'm NBA. Dying, that boy. has not been the case I'm for dying. Brandon Ingram. Well, in Ingram went the opposite way, taking less okay. threes. If you think about it, he focused more on slashing and mid-range shots, and I think it's worked for him. He settled less, and he took a big step forward in his offensive development because of it. Here's DeRozan, and DeRozan throws it. Wow! <laughs> and jumping out like this, man, you automatically start thinking blowout. Well, yeah, they've set an aggressive tone early. The trick is maintaining this momentum. It's easy to get complacent. I got to get mine. That's all. That's all I can do. Get mine, baby. Outside Rondo. 41 seconds left in the first quarter. To the inside. Here's AI. The second chance effort. Outside for Rondo. It's Chandler High Post. Down low. And stolen by White. <laughs> to the paint, here's DeRozan. Good once again. That makes him eight for nine this game. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Rondo passes to AI. Duncan, hey, that hey, one drops. Duncan, AI's got five now. And you can sense that Rondo taking some pride in shredding the D with his passing. Has exceptional vision. And DeRozan kicks to White. With one on the clock. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for San Antonio. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. Well, we've got a minute now. Let's hear what it was like for AI in his first NBA game. I look back on it, and it was just a surreal experience, you know, uh, getting the call up, joining the team. Um, everything happened so fast, I didn't have time to, like, overthink it or overanalyze it. So it was a bit of a ride, but, I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way, given the circumstances. And that first game must have been a whirlwind for him. Joining the team when he did with that much on the line, that's a lot of pressure to drop anyone into. AI showed, though, he could handle it and prove to be an asset. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Spurs team out there. I tell you what, that first quarter, you can see the game plan is a commitment to offensive rebounding. Oh, yeah, this is how they squeezed out extra possessions and captured the early lead. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court right now for the Spurs, they've got Pirtle. White is out there with Mills, and it's Bertson is in at the four-man position. Oh, the float is a tough shot, even when you're that close to the bucket. Stevenson outside. Come on, you do. To the paint. You do. Here's AI. Uses the glass to finish the layup. AI's got his third basket of the night right there. Oh, you can't find much better shot than that one. Yep. Rondo against White. The pass to Mills beyond the arc. Rebound the Lakers. And this matchup with the Spurs oh, is their first meeting of the season. Give it to two me. conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. Uh, so uh, we're going to say they're going to be familiar. Yeah, with baby. Other, but but even so, the teams will learn about each other tonight. So much changes from year to year. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. 
White against Rondo. Now here's White. D right on him. Here's Bertans for three. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. Look, they cannot leave him open like that. The D got away with one there. Thank you, AI. That one goes Where? Down. Where you at, man? Where you at? Points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And White kicks to Pirtle inside. Berton's shot is good. And the Spurs lead by nine. Beautiful lead pass. The finisher never has to break stride. Rondo finds Stevenson. And we're now a over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Five on the clock. Mills with the steal. Oh, my God. Here's Forbes. Another one falls for San Antonio. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Los Angeles calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest nice. Really nice. starts to add up. Nice bucket. There's no question about his skills at the offensive end. Stevenson against Gay. Took How you no time at all on that one. Eight points for him. And Gay is very confident from the mid range. When he has his feet under him, he's extremely reliable from there. Come on. Loads it up for oh, Thank you, baby. Try to stuff the alley oop. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Uh, you want me? Huh? Here's Aldridge over AI. I'm going jump, man. No, man. Ball Stop it. In that time before dropping in. Aldridge has got his second basket of the game. His mid-range game is what sets Aldridge apart from the other bigs in our league. He's about as accurate a shooter as you'll find among players with his size. And what are you doing? Ball on James. That's his first foul. What kind of shot was that? He's checked in for San Antonio. Left. Bench him, man. Come on. Right now. Spurs leading by 10. But Luke Walton, he's definitely a coach players like to play for. I mean, it helps that he was a player not too long ago. Both stars and role players appreciate the candor and the opportunity he provides them. Four on the clock. From deep three-point range. But they'll get another Are chance. you? Oh, my. Wow. Here's Gay. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Oh, man. And the muscle of Gay is insane. He just gets some hard shots to fall despite the obvious contact. And with Walton, you hear players talk about the leeway that he allows them. And that extra bit of trust uh, Walton gives goes a long way. It's, it's why so many rookies have been able to flourish under him. Young players develop when you let them learn on the fly. And Walton has done a good job of creating that environment. And Rudy Gay, Greg, has always been a fantastic scorer since he came into the NBA. And, and Gay doesn't do as much scoring as he once did, but but he has become more Thank you, efficient. Baby. Uh -huh. Doesn't have plays ran for him, gets looks through his instinct. And as he's gotten older, Gay has become even more crafty with how he scores. Young against LeBron. Young dishes to Aldridge. And he gets the bucket. Aldridge has got the lead up to 13 now for the Spurs. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. We know the saying, numbers don't lie. You can see it up there on the scoreboard. Harris outside. He kicks it to AI. And Aldridge comes over to help. LeBron outside. To the inside. AI. And AI. Yes, 
Fantastic vision. I mean, Brown always cognizant of everyone around him. Take over. Come on. I'm on fire. So Young will bring it up for the Spurs. Wing shot on the way. And it's AI with the rebound. Devon, where you at? AI's got his fourth rebound in this one. Young oh, with wow. The wow. Got a piece of it. Gay with it. AI picks him up. 17 foot shot on the way. Wow. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Oh, Marty. really? Gay looks so smooth taking that shot. His form simply could not be better. Los Angeles calls timeout. AC Webb, for your money, who does the best job of combining guard skills with a classic back to the basket game? Whoa, I mean, you, you think of Cousins. He's seven foot, not the fastest. But he has back to the basket and then crossover three point shooting ability. Embiid as well, Towns, and, and of course, Anthony Davis, who I think was a point guard and had a great growth spurt in high school. Yes. He's just a guard in the big man's body. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, it seems every season new records are set for the number of three pointers made and attempted. It's proven to be successful, and of course, it is a copycat league. It's hard to know why it took so long for everyone to catch on, but now that they have, the effects continue to ripple throughout the league. They sure <laughs> have yeah, baby. And in terms of size, not your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. The Lakers have shot five of eight from the foul line. <laughs> yeah. Free throw, no good for AI. Spurs leading by nine. I don't no, look here no, for Murray. No, no, he's good no. at the ball. Murray's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. I can't do everything myself, man. Harris outside. AI with it. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Houston. And his rebounding was solid in that effort as well. He did a lot of work on the glass. All around, it just his effort level was <laughs> off the charts. I didn't want him to take over, man. Young for three. Oh, it did. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Lakers trail by 15. Here's LeBron, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on DeRozan. Well, LeBron making one of the biggest splashes over the summer, signing with the Lakers, and Greg, it happened pretty fast. And the Lakers front office have been recruiting LeBron hard. LeBron talked with Kobe about his time with the organization and what to expect before making his decision. Kobe's words seem to be a big factor for Ooh. LeBron. Once again, the Mamba doing everything he can to help the Lakers. Ingram, he's checked in for Lonzo Ball. DeRozan against LeBron. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And last summer, after nine terrific seasons in Toronto, DeMar DeRozan traded to San Antonio. And, and guys, you have to feel for the sudden change for DeRozan. Gave Toronto some of their best years. At the same time, happy that DeRozan has gone to an organization that has proven success like over. over the years. I don't like it. Here's Murray. Up and in. I don't like it. Murray's got five points in the quarter. Lakers trail by 16. Now here's LeBron. 26 points for him last game against Houston. And we got to talk about his four steals on the night. That's a complete performance at both ends of the floor. DeRozan against LeBron. And the dunk by Aldridge. Good movement there. And the lead pass was right where it needed to be. Los Angeles has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Harris passes to LeBron. Harris kicks to LeBron. Back to Harris. Unloads. No good on that one. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. Fresh from a win against Portland. Away from home, you got to execute. And they did that flawlessly. 
Yeah, and they also controlled the pace of the game for most of the night. Outstanding effort in a hostile environment. JaVale McGee is checked in for LeBron. The Spurs also with the sub. Pirtle, he is checked in for Rudy Gay. Drains it from beyond the arc. How about okay. the passing? They are right. moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Out to Harris. McGee in the high post. In the corner, it's Harris. Young with the steal. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Corey Harris. Back to McGee. And the slam dunk by McGee. Just really unselfish there. Harris is someone who knows when one of his guys is wide open. And it's the Spurs ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. <laughs> and did you see the screen that was set for him? I mean, that was how he got to the hoop. And so it's San Antonio with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Well, you have scored in bunches tonight, and you're making it look easy, and it isn't. How are you doing that? <laughs> well, uh, you know, it only looks easy because my teammates making it look easy. You know, they've been doing some great work for me tonight, you know, setting me up with some terrific looks. So uh, the points might be mine, but, you know, I got to give them all the credit. Group effort leads to good results so far. Kevin, back to you. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Good enough, man. You're not playing. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. B.I. is checked in for the Lakers. Lance Stevenson comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Bertinus, he's checked in for San Antonio. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Bryn Forbes. Stevenson and LeBron, the veteran forward pair. Lonzo Ball out there with Harris. And it's A.I. in at the center. That's the Laker five. Feeds the ball. And Ball nice. slams it in. A uh, point guard who can dunk it. Ball is a rarity uh, in more ways than one. Here's Young. Bro. He makes his 10th basket of the night from the field. He has missed two shots from the floor. Well, he's reason number one there in front. I mean, his shooting has been almost flawless. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Nice. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Oh, miss, man. That's going to send LeBron James to the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. LeBron signing a four-year deal with the Lakers. Greg, many speculated it might happen, miss, but it was still a shock to many. It makes sense from LeBron's standpoint. Son plays in L.A. for high school. LeBron has a lot of business interests as well. And also what's interesting is that when LeBron's contract ends, his son could potentially be coming into the NBA as a rookie. Oh, he's just super efficient when he's close to the rim. James is like a master at knowing which way to take it. Young finds DeRozan. Back to Young. Outside DeRozan. Make it. And he uses the glass on the way. DeRozan's got 22. And you want to talk about high volume scores? Just look at what DeRozan's doing tonight. He's been on a mission, putting his mark on this game in a big way. Here's AI. <laughs> Young against Ball. And the officials call him for a three second violation. And where have the shots been coming from tonight? Here's a look broken down by paint, mid range, and three point shot attempt so far for the Spurs. And even when the D3 has been there, they've stayed away from it. They're working hard to get shots from close range, resisting that urge to get too loose with their shot selection. Gay passes to Bertens. Oh my God. His three pointers off the mark. Ooh. 
Lakers Ryan, trail by 19. With it. And that, that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And the Spurs now in the post Kawhi Leonard era of the franchise. Uh, Greg, how do they recover, do you think? Uh, if any team can survive losing a player of Kawhi's caliber, it's got to be the Spurs. They have good depth, got a good return in the trade, and, and players will step up. Won't be the power they once were for a while, but they'll rebound in no time. No problems knocking that one down. Mills has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. For Los Angeles, they've got nearly everything to drop this quarter. They're seven of eight from the floor since halftime. Ingram against White, shoots from 12, misses off the right iron. San Antonio leading by 20. Wow. Bertans inside the wow. line. Good. Wow. Rosen picking up the assists. Bertans got six. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. There's the feed to LeBron. To the inside. Here's AI. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Jakob Pertl. The Lakers have made nine free throws in the game, 14 attempts. Only 71% from the line last season. And rest assured, they're Man, hoping baby. to bring those numbers up this year. And the Lakers uh -huh. making a change here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. I'm going to get mine. Lakers, Outside man, White. Good, I'm going to get mine. Kicks to Mills. Watch the screen. A floater, and it's good on the way in. They don't miss. Mills has got five points now this quarter. Oh, the floater's a tough shot, even when you're that close to the bucket. Ingram outside. Here's yeah. AI, goes back up. Yeah, and baby. Throws it down. Hustle. And, and guys, that's his game. I mean, battling in the paint and, and cashing in on those second chance opportunities. And great cashing in hard. I mean, man, oh man, he puts an <laughs> exclamation point on that dunk. Yes. And, and, and anybody can get a run of the mill. Are you going to make some count? Astonishing body control by Pirtle, just taking the hit head on and finishing through it all. Outside Rondo to the paint, and A.I. throws it down. And the I didn't see that coming. It up to the precise spot <laughs> it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. I'm and getting mine, I'm good, man. Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Havoc. I'm playing good. Outside White. Now, here's Mills. He's covered by Rondo. Just four to shoot. Pirtle. Great pass to Sonny. I was right the there. I was right there. Pirtle's got his third bucket of the night. What muscle from Pirtle bullying the D with his interior game? Ingram outside. LeBron up top. White against Caldwell Pope. Ingram outside. Shoots from the elbow. Again, nice. Los Angeles. Nice. Lent Ingram has it. It helps big time. Just a little longer and quicker on these contested jumpers. Spurs leading by 21. Wow. Outside, White. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Wow. And so it's San Antonio, easily taking this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? <laughs> Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll do it, team folks. Over, for Chris Webber, Thanks Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.
Hey, I. Griff wants to grab an interview. You have a second? Oh, yeah, sure thing. Right this way. What is up, Griff? How you doing, man? Hey, I. You really had a breakout game tonight. What would you say contributed most to your performance? You know, Griff, uh, I'd say that the biggest thing I've been getting is the uh, support from the fans. I mean, I've been, they've been cheering me on since day one, and you know, I've been working really hard to give them a return on their investment. A man of the people, of course. Probably would have preferred a different result, though. Yeah, you know, winning is uh, always a top priority. Um, I mean, it felt good to step up tonight on an individual level, but, uh, you know, ultimately, it's a hollow feeling since we couldn't bring home that W. <laughs> Spoken like a true veteran. Thanks again, AI. Good thing, though. I think we're all done. Okay, sounds good. Hey, thanks again, man. Thanks for the time. I get mine, dog. I get mine, man. I'm good, dog. I'm good. I get mine, man. You feel me? I'm good. All right, guys, that's it, man. That's all I got right now. I see you later. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yee.